why come to Kevig's and why not go to a college or another sick form? I've just tried to give five reasons here why you'd consider us. We have high standards of teaching and a stable staff. Our students always comment on the excellent relationships they form, form with their teachers. We have about 200 students in the whole sick form, which is large enough to give some choice in terms of A-level subjects, but not too large that you get lost in the system. We get to know our students well and supporting them with career and university choices is one of my favourite parts of the job. We are a sick form within a school, so accompanying that you will get high levels of support and a wide range of extracurricular and leadership opportunities. But we also operate somewhat apart from the school. We have separate um, facilities for study and socialising, including our newly opened cafe. Sick form students also have an element of freedom in how they spend their time outside lessons. How do you find out more information to help with your decision making? Linked from the school website, there are at least four other sources of information. Here you can find the online application form that you need to fill in, and I've made a separate video to explain this. To help you choose your subjects and to supplement discussions you'll be having in school with your teachers and, and pastoral staff, there is a video for each A-level subject. If you are currently in year 11 at another school and would like to visit visit us at Kevig's later in November or early in December, there is a link to a booking form for a school visit. There is also an online course guide. I shall just take the opportunity now to highlight three important sections in the course guide. First, you will find sections on every A-level course we have on offer. There are 22 courses to choose from and they include subjects that you may have studied at GCSE and ones that will be new to you at A-level. Applicants choose three A-level courses, a few, especially if one option is further maths, take four A-levels. All students also take a Cambridge International A-level qualification in global perspectives and independent research which develops skills that are needed at university or in employment. Our timetable is developed to match student needs, so many subjects run more than one class and occasionally a subject may not run if the demand for it is too small. Secondly, you will find our entry criteria for the sixth form and the minimum GCSE grades required. We have tried to broaden our offering at A-level to include not just the more traditional academic subjects and our entry criteria are, I feel, realistic and achievable. They are certainly something to bear in mind as you prepare for mock exams and for the real GCSEs in the summer. If you feel you may be borderline, we do suggest you look at a range of post-16 options. Our overarching aim is to get students onto A-level courses that they'll enjoy and be successful at. On results day in August, we do look at students who have fallen just short in their GCSE grades and at their A-level choices on a case-by-case -case basis. Given the disruption caused by COVID, this will be the case again in summer 2022. Finally, here is an overview of the application's timeline. The deadline of the 31st of January is set to give you time to seek out information and to allow you to speak to teachers and others about your choices and not to feel rushed. Applications received by this date will be used to help determine which classes run and how many and to prepare a timetable that, wherever possible, avoids clashes in a student's choices. Although occasionally some classes clashes do occur and a reserve option may be needed. It is worth noting two things. First, it's absolutely fine to change your mind and we always try to accommodate options changes that you may want to make 
and we do this right up until the first weeks of year 12. Secondly, we accept applications between February and September 2. But these later applications don't help inform blocking and may mean that your choices are less easily able to be accommodated, although we always try to give people their first choices wherever possible. Please note also that once GCSE exams are completed, we are hoping to have an in-person taster and induction day so applicants can find out more about their chosen subjects and about sixth form life. GCSE results day is scheduled to be the 25th of August. If you have any questions at all, please do get in touch. Our contact details are also on the school website, kevigs.org. Thank you, and I hope this has been of help.